Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dynamic Man and I wanted to make a video about skills in Monster Hunter World and shed some light on what they are and what they do. There are a lot of skills in Monster Hunter World and it can be quite overwhelming trying to figure them all out, especially if you're a new player. The skills you use are entirely up to your playstyle and use cases. However, certain classes and weapons do better paired with other compatible skills. For instance, a skill that boosts ranged attacks might not be as beneficial for a close ranged melee weapon. Similarly, if you play something like the dual blades like me, it might make more sense to slot skills into stamina and evasion rather than on blocking and increasing ammo slots which the dual blades have no use for. It's possible to have all kinds of builds and there aren't really any limits to what you can have, whether it's a meta build you follow or a heavily DPS focused build or a tank or even a mixture of everything. Personally, I like to have a balanced build between DPS, defense and comfort. So what are skills? Skills in Monster Hunter World are abilities that enhance your character's performance. You can gain them from equipping armor sets, charms and decorations. There are three types of skills, basic skills or active skills as they're also known. These are skills that directly affect your hunter's performance. For example, boosting attack power, preventing stagger from monster roars or increasing your evasion window. The second are toggle skills. These require only one point in order to activate, but more skill levels can be slotted to make them have stronger effects. An example of a toggle skill is something like affinity sliding or divine blessing. And lastly, set bonuses or passive skills as they're also known. These are often linked to the armor pieces you wear. Set bonuses are special skills activated when you equip two or more pieces of a specific set. Alpha and beta sets share the same bonuses, so you can equip one alpha helm piece and one beta chest piece for example, and still get the same effect. For basic skills you have a certain number of slots available that you can put skill decorations into. The more you put in, the stronger the skill becomes. The maximum amount you're able to put in is 7, but there are skills that only require 3 or even 1 skill slot to fully activate. Speaking of activating, most skills are passive and are on by default like attack boost or weakness exploit. But some skills require a certain action or condition in order to activate. This means that without those required actions being met, the skill will not activate. For example, one of the most popular and used skills in the game is the agitator skill. It increases the attack power and the affinity of your character whenever a large monster you're fighting becomes enraged. Another example would be peak performance. It increases your attack power when your health is full. Knowing how to trigger these skills combined with other ones like crit boost and critical eye which increases your crit rate or affinity as it's referred to in Monster Hunter. In my last video I went over the free meal secret skill to remove the level cap from 1 to 3. There are some skills in the game that can only be partially upgraded and require something known as the secret skill which allows you to upgrade beyond the level cap. These greatly increase the effect of the otherwise normal skill making them a must have for certain skills. There are dozens of set bonuses in Monster Hunter World. I would highly recommend checking out the Monster Hunter World wiki which I will link in the description below. It has a full list of all the set bonuses available in the game along with all the secret skills. And lastly you have decorations. These are small jewels that you can slot into your armor and weapons. Each decoration has a specific level ranging from 1 to 4. The higher the number, the rarer it is. These individual skill jewels can only be acquired from quest rewards from high rank or master rank quests or by using the melding pod. Some higher rarity armor and weapons will only allow for the same rarity corresponding jewel level to be slotted into them, but lower level jewels are backwards compatible and can be slotted into higher rarity gear. I'll offer some basic skills that are a good general starting point to help you build a good base. These aren't in any particular order, so starting off I think weakness exploit, critical boost and critical eye are a definite must have. These will increase the damage you do to monster weak parts as well as increase your affinity, so you do even more damage when you hit those tenderized parts. Next you have the choice between putting points into agitator or attack boost, or both if you want. Personally I like to go with agitator over attack boost as I think it's easier to toggle the skill during fights and it offers better value but you can like I said go with both for even more damage output if you're going for a DPS build. Moving on, to increase our survivability I would suggest putting some points into health boost as well as defense boost. This will help us to tank more hits and increase our health allowing us to stay alive longer. Once you have better gear I would also highly suggest going for divine blessing as that greatly reduces the amount of damage you take when you get hit. 
If you have it maxed out, it activates very frequently, allowing you to survive attacks that would otherwise be one-shots. Exceptions being those attacks which are unblockable like the Behemoth, Ecliptic, Meteor or Latrian's Eschaton Judgment. That pretty much does it. Those offer a good range between attack and defense. The rest is up to you and what you want to prioritize. I hope you guys find this video useful and informative. If I missed anything out, then do let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. I would greatly appreciate if you could leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one.